will discuss about how to draw perspective view here for example perspective view means whatever we are watching that three dimensional view is called perspective view or in the shortcut we can tell whatever image we are taking from camera it is also called perspective view so here for already i did the diagram perspective view here observer is there he is watching one of the plane on the ground so it is looking like this just roughly i am explaining in the class i will explain how to draw these diagrams so this is the perspective view of the square plane it is on the ground it is looking like this 3d view okay for the observer and uh, this is the side view if you see here this plane side view is coming like a line okay this is called perspective view we will see how to do this perspective view or perspective projection this diagram in this class let us take the given data initially after that we do the perspective view draw a perspective view of a square plane square plane means it has four sides and negligible thickness that's why we are calling square plane okay, square plane of side 50 mm each side of the square is 5 cm resting on the gp gp in question they have given gp means ground plane here i have written okay remember it gp means ground plane with one of its corner touching pp pp means picture plane okay and a side right to the corner whatever square plane we are taking one of the corner is inclined at 60 degrees to it 60 degrees to this picture plane okay flush stop this the station point is 70 mm in front of pp station point means observer eye observer eye is 7 cm in front of pp picture plane okay comma 65 mm above gp gp means just now i told ground plane here i have written ground plane okay and lies in a cp cp means central plane which is 35 mm towards right of the corner touching the pp picture plane okay here so many uh, words are come, so many new letters are coming gp pp like that so remember these names so this is resting on gp gp means ground plane so in perspective views this is the observer just now i told observer whatever view he is watching that is a perspective view this is the observer this is the ground plane okay whatever plane we are taking square plane it is on the ground plane okay this entire surface is known as ground plane so taken square plane is on the ground plane and then one of its corner touching pp pp means here picture plane so this square one of the corner is touching pp okay here picture plane means pp means this is the picture plane okay now so here square just roughly i am doing one of the corner is touching like this okay square has given so this corner is touching the profile plane okay or picture plane so here picture plane this is so it is in front of the observer okay now our square plane is like this one of the corner is touching pp and then and a side right to the corner inclined at 60 degrees to it one of the corner of the square is whatever corner is touching pp side uh, that corner side at the right side so right side of the corner okay whatever corner is touching pp that right side of that corner inclined at 60 degrees to it so this is making 60 degrees to it whatever corner is touching that is making 60 degrees to it okay now after that the station point is 70 mm in front of pp so here station point means observer eye it is 70 mm in front of pp so pp means this plane just now i told picture plane this plane is 70 mm distance from the station station means observer eye this gap is 70 mm okay just roughly marking here i am uh, so this point is 70 mm in front of pp 65 mm above gp so here this observer eye is 65 mm from the ground this height is 65 mm so whatever data it has given i have written here just for uh, doing diagram correctly here station point means observer eye and also this station point lies in a cp cp means central plane this plane is 35 mm towards right of the corner touching the pp whatever corner is touching the profile plane okay from that corner this station point is 35 mm okay in the right side of that corner okay if you are taking in the diagram so from this corner 35 mm right side okay so this station point will come this station point is also passing through this plane okay this plane is called central plane okay this plane okay so this plane is 35 mm here it has not given exactly but this vertical plane 
so it is 35 mm from the corner so this is the given data for this we have to do the perspective view how the view is looking for the observer in 3d diagram in the form of 3d so that view is perspective view let us do this perspective view roughly after that we do the, the diagram by using the drawing instruments now for doing the perspective view if we see from top we can see this tilted square correct so this is tilting 60 degrees so where it is touching profile plane pp okay initially what we will do first we will do this line we will do this square tilted square what's one side 60 degrees so here i will do just i do one line pp okay i will do one square roughly i am doing here without instrument like this okay one square roughly one side is tilting 60 degrees okay so here i will give the names of it okay for the square a b c d okay east side is 5 centimeter okay so initially this is a given position after that we need to take the station point okay from profile picture from this profile plane or picture plane the station point is 70 mm okay distance so in the top view we can see this gap 70 mm so station point i am taking s yes. okay so below this pp 70 mm okay 7 centimeter approximately okay so on it some station point will come yes will come okay one more line has given at the end here this station point is 35 mm towards the right of the corner touching the pp whatever corner is touching pp from it 35 mm okay station point is coming so here at 35 mm we have to do one line okay the intersection point of 70 mm and 35 mm is the station point so for that we are giving the station point yes small s okay this is the top view we need to do the perspective view means his view we have to do how it is looking okay it is coming below this okay now here one line is there this line is called horizontal line initially we have to do this horizontal line okay after some gap of the station just at any place we can take here i am leaving some gap i am taking this is hn okay horizontal line now after that we need to mark the station point so how much distance from hl it is it is 65 mm given okay so from hl it is it has given 65 mm this ground line is coming okay so it has given this, this station point is 65 mm above gp so from hl take the ground plane on which observer is standing this is 65 okay roughly i am marking here 65 mm so on which the observer is standing okay this gap is 65 mm here after getting this ground line gl as we know station point is this is the top view for getting the front view on the horizontal line why we are taking on horizontal line means the station point okay it is passing through the horizontal okay so on the horizontal line on the same line projector line i am taking the station point front view okay this as i told this is a top view this is a let us take front view so on the same projector line same person we are taking so it is coming on the same projector line so station point h dash okay after that here we have to do the perspective view okay these are the given dimension initially we will do this line this line and this line we will do this diagram after that we will do the perspective view okay initially take one line pp okay profile picture by using the drawing instruments here after some gap i am doing one line horizontal line of some length we can take any length here okay i am giving this name is pp profile picture okay do entire diagram with pencil only okay take any one of the point here just do this square okay one side 60 has given by using the protractor at this point take 60 degrees okay so this is the 60 degrees line will come and it take 5 centimeter so in this direction take 5 centimeter okay see this is 60 degrees line after that take this line 5 centimeter this is 90 okay now from this line 90 degrees we need to take 90 degrees we need to take by using the drafter scale we can fix one of the scale here this side the another scale will give the 90 degrees with that scale we can do the line okay so here so this is the 90 degrees line okay on it take 5 centimeter okay this is 5 centimeter 
here after this just do the line parallel to this so i'm using roller sketch for doing the parallel lines or we can take 90 degrees here so here by using the parallel scale i'm doing the parallel line here like this okay and you take 5 cm or do the parallel line here parallel to this for complete square so we got the square here give the names a b c d small letters a inside i will give b c d because it is above this it is a topic okay after getting this here mark the station point this is 35 mm this is 70 mm okay at 70 mm i will do one line initially okay so take 70 mm this is 70 so after this line at 70 i did one horizontal line parallel to this okay so this is 70 mm after that i took 35 mm from this corner just i did one line the intersection point is the station point okay this is 35 mm 70 so this is 35 mm this is 70 so here i have marked a station point after getting this station point so after that mark s dash for marking this just do the hl line horizontal line which is parallel to this line Okay, we can take any gap here after this gap do hl line parallel to this so after yes i give some gap okay just do one parallel line like this okay just do the line here so this line is called hl okay mark h dot l okay is it visible okay now on hl i will mark s dash okay station point because s and s dash are coming on the same line so just take we need to do the vertical parallel line mark s dash here okay small s dash like this after getting this s dash okay just do the line parallel to hl 65 mm distance okay 6.5 cm distance so below 65 for marking the correct distance just i took one vertical line so 65 is coming here here we need to do the parallel line just by using the roller scale i'm doing the parallel line here some length line okay so this line is called gl okay pp this is this is hl this is the gl getting the clear view in the camera i am using different colors but in drawing sheets as well as in drawing exam you have to use pencil only okay, after getting this stop you join all the points to the station point okay so observer this is observer he is seeing all the uh, plane here so join all these points to the station point so do with thin line after a b and then c and then d after getting all the inclined lines just take these intersection points of this inclined line with this profile picture line mark the points here the intersection point is a1 b inclined line with this pp intersection point is b1 and then c2 this pp intersection point is c1 d inclined line to pp the intersection point is d1 after getting all these points from a b c d do the projectile lines vertical projectile lines up to the ground line okay now here take one of the reference line so by using the roll scale i am doing the parallel line at a vertical line like this up to gl okay a from a after that from b after that from c after that from d so these are the intersection points to this gl now here do the names from a give the name here a dash from b give the name b dash from c give the name c dash from d give the name d dash okay after getting a dash b dash a dash b dash d dash c dash join all these points to s dash okay let us do a dash to s dash next b dash 
next c dash next d dash okay so here also we got all the inclined lines after that from a1 do the vertical projector line up to a line similarly from b do the vertical line up to b let us take so take from a1 do the line up to a inclined line okay take this intersection point is capital a a to a1 next from b to b1 okay so this intersection point is capital b okay next c1 to c line okay let us do mother scale from c1 do the vertical line up to c inclined line okay this is capital c here a1 b1 c1 take d1 d from d1 do the vertical line up to d inclined line so drop the line here so this is d okay we got capital letters a b c d join all the points by using scale a to b b to c c to d a to d this capital letters a b c d is the perspective view of the given square plane top view and perspective view should be dark compared to all inclined lines and all vertical projector lines this is the perspective view now if you are taking here from v dash b dash c dash d dash all are coming on the same line this is the side view also okay perspective view side view and top view in case if they are asking draw the side view means you just do this line okay so this is the side view of the given square plane this is a perspective plane so after getting this diagram mark the dimension square side is 50 mm so take any one of the side 50 keep on small square the meaning is all four sides has equal length after that mark the angle 60 degrees after that this height is 70 mm don't write mm here because we are writing in engineering drawing all units are in mm this is 70 this is 65 and this station point from this corner is 35 okay this is a method of doing the perspective views if you like this lecture hit the like button subscribe my channel and share with your friends thank you for watching